This video is going to be about linear regressions and how to go about completing those using the graphing calculator. Linear regressions are lines that we try to do to scatter plots. Okay, we want to see if there's a positive correlation or a negative correlation to this this set of data. Scatter plot is just this this bunch of data that we've got on a graph, and if we can fit a line to it, we might be able to predict some values using this line that we've created. And so we might be able to have a positive or a negative correlation there, but we need to create this line that's going to help us predict information. I'm going to do two different types of problems. Feel free to skip along in the video if you feel like you, you're understanding what's going on here. But I want to show you two different types of, of problems. So in this first problem, here's what we've got. A, we've met, a mathematics teacher wanted to see the correlation between test scores and homework. The homework grade X and the test grade Y are given in the accompanying table. Write the linear regression equation that represents this set of data, rounding all coefficients to the nearest hundredth. Using this equation, find the projected test grade to this nearest integer for a student with a homework grade of 64. So we have two pieces uh, of information that we need to, to try and find. One is the linear regression equation. And then the second part of it is we're going to use that equation to project a test grade. We're going to guess what the test grade is going to be if uh, a student has a homework grade of 64. And so looking at the table that we have here, we have homework grades and we have test grades. And they nicely gave us these homework grades as X's and test grades as Y's. I'm going to put this information into my graphing calculator. So I'm going to turn my graphing calculator on. It wants to turn on for me. There we go. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go to the stats menu. The very first one says edit, I'm going to edit. I'm going to put this information into list one and list two. So for list one, I'm going to put my X values. 84, uh, 71, uh, 76, 80, 89, uh, 72, 87, 86, and 52. And then for list two, I'm going to put in the Y values. Now you notice on the list one, I press the down button to put in the next value. You can also hit enter. That'll also allow you to put in the next value. 76, 82, 68, 88, uh, 89, and 50 was my last one. Now you want to make sure that these numbers are in line with each other, right? So 52 is next to 50, 86 is next to 89, 87 is next to 88, because these numbers are pairs. They're, they're associated with each other. Okay, now that I have everything in here, I want to go ahead and do my linear regression equation. I'm going to hit stat. I'm going to press the right arrow key to the calculate menu. And you'll see the fourth one down says lin reg. That's linear regression. Okay, enter. List one, list two, everything's good. Go down to calculate and enter. And there we go. Y equals AX plus B. That's the, the uh, format for my equation. And it tells me A is equal to 1.02121956. B is equal to negative 6.30996463. Okay. So going back to my problem here. Let me scroll up a little bit. It says... Write the linear regression equation that represents the set of data routing all coefficients to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so I'm going to write this down. I'm going to do it to the nearest hundredth. Okay. So I've got here, it's going to be y equals, and now I'm going to substitute in my a and my b values for where it says a and b and that y equals ax plus b. So a is one point, and again, I'm going to round to the nearest hundredth. So 1.02x. And then my b was a negative. So instead of putting plus negative, I'm just going to put negative. And for b, it was negative 6.31. 6.31. Okay. And there we go. Now I have my regression equation. Y equals 1.02x minus 6.31. Okay. 
And again, this is the equation of a line. What y equals mx plus b, right? Where the negative 6.31, this is where I cross the y intercept, and the 1.02 is my slope equation. And so this has a slope, it's a very small slope, but it has a slope, right? It's a positive one. And now I'm gonna go back up in my uh, my um, my problem, and it tells me. Using this equation, find the projected test grade for a student with a homework grade of 64, okay? So, in my list, homework was my X values, test grades were my Y values. So they gave me a homework grade. They said, okay, well, what about somebody who has a homework grade of 64? What would their test grade be? What would we project that their test grade would be? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that 64, change my color here. I'm going to take that 64 and I'm going to plug it right in for x. I'm going to substitute it in for x and evaluate that answer. So I'll go back to my calculator and let the calculator do all of the heavy lifting for me. So I've got 1.02 times, what is it, 64, okay, minus 6.31. And I get this really nice answer, 58.97. And they said rounded to the nearest integer. So 58.97 rounded to the nearest whole number would be 59. And there's my first problem, okay? Y equals 1.02X minus 6.31 is the equation. And my final answer, this is using that equation to predict what the score would be is 59, okay? Let's take a look at another kind of problem. So I'm going to erase all of this. We'll take a look at another problem. Okay. Here we go. So again, let me clear out all of my, my work here. There we go. Looking at another kind of problem here. I've got a mathematics teacher. He wanted to see the correlation between test scores and homework. So the same style of problem here. Write a linear regression equation that represents the set of data, rounding all coefficients to the nearest tenth, Okay, so they change things on us a little bit. And using this equation, estimate the homework grade to the nearest integer. So estimate a homework grade this time for a student with a test grade of 42. Okay, well, we can do this. So this process is the same for the linear regression equation. I'm gonna take this information and put it into my calculator. So I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna go to stat, edit. Now I have lists in here from the last problem that we just did, so I wanna clear this out. I go up to the top, I highlight my list, I hit clear, I press down, whole list disappears. I do that for this one, clear, down, whole list disappears, so now I can enter in data. And so I'm gonna do that, 61, 81, uh, 86, 70, 74, uh, 74 again, and 55, boom. Let's go over to list two, I've got 49, 67, uh, 86, 56, 66, 77, and 52. Now looking at my list, it looks like I made a mistake here, right? You'll notice on list two, I have 67, 86, 56, and I wrote a six. That should have been a 66, so I need to fix that mistake. All I do is I go up to where that's listed, and I can just highlight it and then fix it. 66, enter. And boom, I fixed that mistake. I don't have to redo the whole list. And again, everything should line up nicely, right? Everything is in here. And we have all of our values. Okay, great. Now I can use this information. So I'm going to hit stat, right click to calculate. The fourth one down says linear regression. So I'm going to hit four for linear regression. Everything is in there list one, list two. Enter, and it calculates it out for me. So going back to my problem. It wants me to round to the nearest tenth on this one. Okay, so let's do this. Let's find out what my equation is going to be. Rounding to the nearest tenth, it's going to be y equals, again, I'm going to substitute the a and the b values in, rounding to the nearest tenth. a is 1.1x. Uh, and again, my b, my b value is a negative this time, so I'm going to just, instead of writing plus, I'm going to just write minus. Minus 12.4. And there's my linear regression equation. 
Now there was a second part of this problem. It wanted us to calculate something else. So let's find out what that was. It said, using this equation, estimate the homework grade for a student with a test grade of 42. Okay. Well, again, looking at my list, if a test grade is the Y values, they want me to figure out a homework grade, which is the X values. Okay, well, that's not a problem. I go down here, I look at my regression equation. And again, that was a oh, test grade of 42. So this is going to go right here. This is 42. Oh, sorry about that. 42. That's going in for my Y value. So I'm going to substitute that into my Y value and then solve for X. Now this is going to require a little bit of algebra, but that's okay because we're algebra students. We can do this. So I'm going to have a, an equation that I'm going to have to solve. I'm going to have 42 equals 1.1X minus 12.4. Okay, well, we can do this. This is not bad. We need to solve for X. We need to get X by itself. So I'm going to add 12.4 to both sides. Okay. On the right side, negative 12.4 plus 12.4, those cancel out. I get 1.1x. This equals, on the left side, 42 plus 12.4. Well, I get, uh, let's see, 54.4. And now I'm going to divide by 1.1. Divide by 1.1. And I'm left with x equals 54.4 divided by 1.1. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But that's okay, I got a calculator, so I'm gonna use it. 54.4 divided by 1.1 is, drum roll please, holy Christmas, 49.454545. So, I got 49.45 repeated, right? Four, five repeats forever, never, never, never. Now, what did it tell me to do? It told me to round to the nearest integer, nearest whole number here, so 49, 0.45 rounded to the nearest whole number, that's just 49. And there's my final answer. I've used the information that they gave me to uh, predict something here, okay? So I came up with a linear regression equation and then I used that equation to predict something. Okay, I hope this made sense. If you have questions, please, please, please comment, let me know, and I will try to address those as best I can.